There might come a time, or there might often come a time, when you're looking to switch music providers, whether it's because you want to take advantage of a promotional offer, or because you want access to features that you don't currently get on your current one. The only issue can be, of course, the worry that you can't take your music with you. Well, actually, you can. Thankfully, there actually is an app for that. So if you're looking to switch from Apple Music to Spotify, for example, you can do. I'm Cam Bunton from PocketLint, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take your music from Apple to Spotify. Hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our videos. So this method involves a free app called SongShift. It's available on the App Store for free for iPhone, so be sure to download it there. Now, there are similar apps for Android too, not this specific one, but you will be able to find them if you look on the Play Store. One of them, for example, is called Free Your Music. So your first step after downloading SongShift is to open the app and to set up your music services. You can see there are quite a few supported by SongShift, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're choosing Apple Music and Spotify. Each of them will require you to allow certain permissions and to sign in to your accounts. Once that's done and your sources are linked, you can start the transfer process. You tap the plus icon at the top to start a new shift, and then you choose your source. For this guide, that's Apple Music. Choose whether you want to shift albums, playlists, or songs. Tap Playlists, and then you can do one at a time, or you can toggle on the Multiple Playlist Switch option. The next step is to choose which playlists to transfer. It's worth noting that with our Apple Music, some of them showed as having zero songs. But once we'd actually selected them and started the transfer process, it discovered all of them, matched them, and processed them successfully. So the next step after you've chosen the playlist you want is to hit Done at the top. And now choose the destination, and choose Spotify, and make sure a new playlist is selected. Hit continue, and then hit I'm finished. At this point, it starts to process. If you want to manually check on how your process is going, just tap on the processing option at the top. After it finishes processing, it will ask you to confirm matches. After that, it shifts the music across and it's fully transferred over to your new account. Now, depending on how many playlists you have, it could take a little time to match and generate your new playlists. The only playlist I had an issue with personally was one that had nearly a thousand songs in it. It seemed to conk out at the 500 song mark thereabouts. But otherwise, it found pretty much every single song in every playlist, bar two or three. Now, of course, if you want to do it the other way around, from Spotify to Apple Music, it's the same process, but you choose Spotify as the source or Apple as the destination. So there you have it, a quick guide on how to move your playlist between two music services that are incredibly popular. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media, you can follow me on there if you want to. Hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure you hit that little bell to make sure you don't miss any more of our videos. I'll see you again soon.